Okay, so let's see. Um, as always, just let me know if you can uh, hear me and see me. It is a little bit dark. That's just how it is. The sun will be rising. Um, I can't remember uh, at the exact time today, but um, it's still dark outside, but you're not here to see my face anyway, I guess. So let's see. <clears throat> um, Adeline says, you can hear me and see me. Okay. That's that's great. I tried something new. I announced this live stream beforehand. Uh, seems to have worked. We are 190 people in uh, or 200 people uh, watching uh, now. So um, that's great. Let's get straight to the point here. Things are getting crazier by the day. Um, and I have decided to call this this live stream, and maybe I will make a series, <laughs> uh, War Room, because that's where you meet to discuss your strategy, right? When you're going to war, and... Um, it depends, I guess, on how you define it, but at least some definitions of war can be applied here so that we can actually say that we are at war now. Um, it is, at least not yet, a violent war. Uh, it's a war of um, suppression and... Um, and enslavement and people are fighting people there is a resistance um, so it has all the trademarks of a war that's why i'm calling this the war room um, and i also wrote in the title that if you comply now you will be a slave forever and that's um, other people have said that as well, um, and I truly believe that um, we tend to look at ourselves and our so-called civilized modern society as so so advanced, so much better than how it used to be. Now that might be true to a certain degree, but there is nothing but us stopping society from sliding back into something that should be called history. Um, there is actually, it's, it should be easy to observe what's going on now and say that yes this is a movement towards things we have seen before a few decades ago uh, there was a uh, a war it was called a world war and um, things happened leading up to that that should never be forgotten um, and if you can't see a parallel to that, when it comes to what's happening now, um, this is not the live stream for you. Um, you should go back to consuming your CNN and, uh, and those other rubbish news outlets and uh, be fed your propaganda and that, that's what you should do. Or... If there is any character in you at all, you should stay and listen. Now, I'm not talking to you guys, subscribers to this channel. Maybe you discovered this live stream by chance now. I'm not talking to you people, to you guys. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to 
people who will typically come here and they will write something nonsense nonsensical in in um, in the chat or they will hit uh, thumbs down and all that you know so uh daniel daniel sabo um thanks a lot for the donation there um in uh germany a countrywide lockdown is on against those with no big mac as we call it they are banned from everything but most vital services yes i know i just read about that and it is now even if there was I, I'll have to watch my, God my words here. Even if there was proof that that strategy would be helpful, it would still be wrong. Because if that's okay, well, why do not? Why don't we expand it to other areas and other? contagious illnesses and so on and so on and so on but but okay i have some notes here today and uh let me just say that as i always say if you really want me to see your comment uh you can give me a super chat it's always very much appreciated um i spend a lot of time making these videos live streams and digging into the facts even though most of the facts concerning what we're talking about here really is i'm not able to say uh but still you know it's it's it is in the background it is behind and what i'm talking about here i'm not just talking nonsense here even though some people will claim that I do, I don't care about that. Um, but I made some notes. Um, so yeah, if you really want me to see your comment, you can give me a super chat. And the first thing I wrote here on the side here is that I am actually disgusted by those people who are practically bragging, posting on social media and so on, about how they are following all the rules. It's a phenomenon called virtual signaling and it is, it's like they are bragging about how good they are at following rules and how they are better and more sensible than other people because they are following the rules. So they will do all the things and they will typically claim that we are doing this too. In the Britain they used to say, uh, help the NHS, um, save the NH NHS. Um, before that it was flatten the curve and and all that. So they're being good little boys and girls doing as they're told. And there is something in me that just, it is the worst of the worst. Uh, it's so, I don't know, maybe it's, it has something to do with my personality, I guess, but it, it goes against everything, everything that I am and that I believe in. So they will also claim that you should follow the science. But they don't know what that means, do they? They don't know what that means. For instance, questions, questioning everything. Is, an, is a vital part of, of good science, you know. Uh, if you, um, at least in Norway, when you become a, uh, 
uh, what's it called? Uh, doc when you have a um, you get a, a doctorate, uh, you study to become a PhD, and that's a doctorate. I think it's called in English. You have to stand there in a room and defend, as as they say, defend your your. Um, um, uh, you study uh, an area, okay, and you present it, and then you, you'll have to stand there and defend it to criticism, you know? That's part of how you become a, a PhD. Uh, you'll have to excuse me if I mix up the English terms here. And, and it just illustrates how good science cannot be good science if it is not continually questioned, right? So, um, Alex, <clears throat> um, so, uh, thanks for the donation there, uh, says that I've started a petition on change.org to arrest and imprison our corrupt police and government officials if anyone's interested. Uh, this platform won't let me drop the link, so you have to go find it. Yes. Um, and Deborah, um, thanks for the donation. Uh, we'll be here one another on amateur radio soon. I'm old enough to remember Radio Free Europe. I will listen to Ham and talk on uh, GMRS WROQ832. So go and check that out. So, um, <clears throat> okay, yeah, so. Again, uh, if we define this as, as a war, even if we don't, uh, what I would like to say that, and I've said it before, but it's becoming more and more important by the day. You must use your voice. You must speak up. You must. You must do this while we are still allowed to do it. And people will say that, well, you can't say this, you can't say that on social media. And that's true, I can't. You know how it is. I'm always talking codes here. And, but I, I'm, I'm talking about being unafraid. Being courageous, you must use your voice. Talk to your colleagues. Challenge them when they say, oh, I'm doing this because, oh, oh, we must do this and that and follow the rules. Challenge them. Don't be, don't be rude. Don't be, I, I mean, be, behave in a decent manner, but challenge them because they need to be told that they are they are wrong but they need to be you need to make them think about what they're saying because what's been going on here for a long time now is that and many other people have said this before because and and it's it's obvious right people are not thinking objectively anymore why? Well, because they are scared. And when you become scared, um, you stop thinking in an objective manner. It's like the same when you become very angry. You, you're not objective anymore. And I think that what we are seeing now in out there among people, you know, we are seeing very obvious it's it's obvious to see how now how should i put this it's it's very easy now to identify people who are scared or easily scared and those people who are not so easily scared and i will do some bragging right here i am not easily scared um it has to do with my 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 childhood and so on, won't get into that, but I had to learn to get 
to be courageous because I didn't have any other options. Um, and it's very easy now to identify those people who are easily scared. And they are not thinking objectively anymore, and they haven't done for a long time. And whenever they see something in the mainstream media, oh, there's a new bug, and there's this and there's that, and they will just follow the simple rules that they are given. And they will ask for more rules as well. Because that's safe, it's simple, uh, safe in the way that they feel it's safe, and it's simple, and it's, it's what they want. So, <clears throat> let me have a uh, drink. It's it's a non-alcoholic ginger lemonade. <clears throat> Olivia, thanks for the donation. Uh, you must not say that. Um, hang in there. Uh, you have lots of people supporting you, and you know, you must not say that. We need you here in this community. Um, so, <clears throat> let me tell you something. Um, my wife gets annoyed at me a lot because. I cannot be told what to do. Uh, if you use the words must, I must do something, or I cannot do something, I will not obey. Even if I wanted to do that in the first place. So it's like this. Um, if I am standing by a table, silly, silly image for you here. Standing by a table, and there's a, uh, a, uh, a piece of cake. I'm not so fond of cake, but just for, to illustrate what I'm talking about. A piece of cake on the table, and I'm told, you must eat that piece of cake. Even if I wanted to, I would not do it then. Because I was told that I had to do it. That's just how I... I'm <laughs> some people will say that well you're very very difficult but that's just how it is so it's I think people like myself uh, we will not ever comply it's not going to happen I would rather starve actually I would rather starve and some will say, well, you, you will, you'll change your mind when you actually start starving. No. No, I won't. I won't. Um, so, <clears throat> now, um, let me see here. Yeah. Uh, R.P. McMurphy says, hold on. Network with neighbors, continue teaching and practicing self-sustaining lifestyle. Think global, act local. Low and warf warmth from Alaska. Exactly. Uh, Karen, uh, and thank you for the donation. And Karen, uh, thank you for the donation. Uh, Karen says, I'm a nurse in the US. My company was about to f fire me on December 6th. But now the courts have killed them. Uh, the mandate here, thank God, I, I will retire. Well, yeah, I read about that. So some good news. There are some good people out there still. Um, and yeah, so uh, just to make it very, very clear, I believe we must confront people in real life, in real life. I am looking forward to the day when they make this mandated or 
compulsory or whatever it's called here in my area. They haven't done it yet, but at this point, I am looking forward to that because that will give me the opportunity to challenge those people. I will do that. Last time they did it, last time they did it, I, I said, okay, we have, you know, local businesses and small businesses, they will get in trouble. And so, okay, I, I don't care. Um, but this time, no, because we have gotten too far now and it must be challenged. So, next bullet point here. Yeah, about mandating what we must do and must not do. Um, you might wonder why I'm talking about this all the time here on these live streams. Well, it is mainly because things are moving very fast now. And I think it's almost by the day that we have more and more get another country here in, in our part of the world. Um, either they are moving closer towards mandating um, again someone told me it's not mandating it's it's making it compulsory so I'm, I'm all confused now but uh, making the um, having the being poked with a mystery liquid uh, mandated forced you have to do it or else you'll get fined you'll be put in prison like in Austria um, or they are just saying that if you haven't had it, then you will not be allowed to go out. So, again, that's where we are. This is what's happening. And there needs to be a limit. To what now? How how should I? I need to not a limit. There needs to be a, a a stop sign. There needs to be people must rise up. They must, and they are, but not enough, you know. Now, some people will march in the streets, and some people will not. I I think. Personally, that's maybe not the way to do it. Uh, it's much more effectful if we go to that store and if they say, you must do this, you must do this, you tell them that you want. You turn away and you walk away from that place. And the next day, you go there again and you do the same. And you tell them why. Get up in their face. Be a nuisance to these people. And I'm sorry it had to come to this, you know. I, 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 am, I am sorry, but I see no other option out of this. I see no other way out of this. Also, and this should go without saying, <clears throat> I'll have to God, my word, sir. Um, oh, it's calling. I have a smartphone, you know. Hello? Oh. Oh, yeah, I need to have that thing, that app on my phone. I see. Yes. Well, no, I won't. Because I made my own, you know, <laughs> here. Uh, my wooden smartphones, the best phone I've ever had. The QR code thing, you must not use that. You must refuse to use that. You know? And if it was up to me, you know, I... I've said before that, you know, this wouldn't have gotten to this state if people didn't have smartphones but 
people like their smartphones, so at least refuse to download that that app. Now I know it's probably ingrained in the whole operating system not by now, but <sighs> yeah. Refuse to follow their orders. <clears throat> so Okay, just one of the dogs who got up from the couch. <sighs> My last bullet point here is the most important one, and it's a personal one. Uh, the threat that they are using, and I see this in every every country, the threat that they are using is that you have to do this. You have to get uh, injectable mysterious liquid, not only once or twice, but as often as we decide, as your government, as your leaders. And if you don't, you will be thrown out of modern, so-called modern society, you will not be part of society anymore. That's basically what they're saying. You know, that's, that's where we are. We are moving towards that. And different countries are, have gotten, some countries are already there. Some countries uh, are moving towards it, but we're all heading to that, that place. And my response is, uh, you can have it. I mean, I never cared much for modern society anyway. And up through the years, I've acquired some skills. Uh, it will be hard. It will be very hard. But uh, life is hard, you know. And I can. there is only one thing I cannot accept in my life i guess not uh, no sorry wrong word again excuse me i'm norwegian there is only one thing i cannot i could not handle in my life and that is living without freedom i must have freedom so if you're going to throw me out of your modern society well Go and do that. I, I don't care anymore. And the truth is, I never really cared much. I don't like modern society. And you could say, well, what if you get sick? Yeah, I know. That might happen. That's why we need to build an infrastructure for ourselves outside of so-called modern society. Okay, that's pretty much what I wanted to say, and um, I will now um, have a look at uh, at the chat. Sharon, uh, thanks for the donation. Um, Sharon says, I agree. Lots of love from Belfast, Northern Ireland. Thank you. And Joaquin, Joaquin um, thanks for the donation. Uh, do you think they are purposely trying to get us to a breaking point? I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's difficult to know these things. Uh, thank you, Craig. Just spotted your comment there. Um, Christopher Hansen. Um, thanks for the donation. And... Uh, you are writing that people are dying everywhere from the same natural causes as ever. Yes, that is that is true. That is how things are. You know, some die alone. That's an unnatural end. If you feel alone, volunteer with hospice. Yes, it's a good point. Uh, Awestruck Child uh, says, uh, stay strong, there are a lot of us with you. Well, there are 
a lot of us. Absolutely. And thanks for the donation there. Okay. <clears throat> I think I'm up to date uh, on the chat. Um, now let's see. Joke Britain says we have a protest in Edinburgh this weekend. Calton Hill. And Dexter, uh, thanks for the donation. Very much appreciated. Uh, says Dexter says just want to support you. Freedom is everything. We need a breakaway. We need a breakaway society desperately. Yeah. Um, the good thing about this <laughs> is that it's not difficult to find physicians, doctors, specialists, nurses, and all, and people like that. Uh, who really, really want to join such a, a um, an off-grid, if we can call it that, an off-grid kind of society, because they are moving out of, uh, you know, they are resigning uh, in the thousands. Um, so, let's see here. Um, Carl, thanks for the thanks for the donation. That's uh, that's wonderful. And Daniel Borgersen, thanks for the donation. Says I took the liberty to share a video in about twenty channels. Now is the time to build a parallel society and resist the forces of evil. Stay strong. Well, thank you, Daniel. Uh, just want to say one thing. It, it's obviously not okay to... I'm not saying you did that, but just as a general rule, it is not okay to download my video and share it around. You know, it's that's stealing, actually. I, I do not accept that not saying you did that but some people are doing that they're downloading my live streams and videos and and putting them on their channels and other channels um that's that's a crime actually it's stealing but if you use the share button and you use the url and you you share my videos that way that's that's how you're supposed to do it of course uh so that um yeah, just so you know, uh, that's why we have the share button underneath these videos. Um, okay. Olivia says, I endure each day knowing that I came here to survive this for as long as possible to prove to all the universe that I'm, I'm spiritually stronger than most anyone else. Praise the gods. That's the attitude we should all have, I believe. And uh, we are now uh, we're getting into the, I guess, the religious part here. Um, and I will speak from my belief system as a Norse heathen, and I believe that this is a gift. What's happening now? It is actually a gift because we are given the opportunity to show who we are. <clears throat> Okay. Um, Olivia, did I, I? I think I read it just now. Thanks again for the donation there. I think I'm update now on the super chats. Uh, wildlife prepper, thanks a lot there. Uh, says. I'm converting a cargo trailer into a tiny home and moving to the mountains. I'm done with modern society too. It's successful and will only get worse. Um, Dexter, um, <clears throat> now let's see. Um, Thanks for the donation. And what's your thoughts on anarchy, not the Antifa type? Yeah, I know what. Yeah, of course. And do you think such a society can exist in a world dominated by governments? Well, we know that it can because we've had it before. 
Um, now, what's now I can't remember the term, but a kind of anarchy uh, in Iceland, um, the twelve hundreds had that actually, and it did function for quite some time. Um, chill and play. Thanks for the donation. Um, a super quick recap. Um, that would take some time. So I will say it's in the title and you should scroll back maybe. I, I'm really sorry, but it, I don't think I will manage to give a quick recap on what I said. Um, Frank, thank you. And, and Stuart, a cup of coffee. Thanks a lot for that. Um, so, <clears throat> let's see if I'm up to date uh, yeah uh, I think I am okay I also want to say that and this is an obvious one right this is no, not about. This is not a war, and this is should be very obvious. But I'll say it anyway. This is not a war between the people who have had the injectable mysterious liquid and those who haven't. It really isn't. It's that the conflict is between people who understand the value of freedom and people who love, who would trade that freedom for rules and regulations. Um, I, I'm, I try to say that every time because it is so important that we do not let personal health choices uh, divide us. Um, yeah, I don't really have Durulf Nielsen. Well, thanks for the donation, but I'm a little bit uh, that I was respectful that I ignored you. Um, I I'm. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult for me to keep track of everything here. Um, if I said something wrong or misunderstood or got things mixed up, I I am sorry about that. That was not my intention. I can't. And sometimes it's... It's difficult to know if the comment is aimed at me or someone else in the chat. So, okay, I'm doing my best to keep an eye on, on what's going on here. Uh, Sean, um, thanks a lot for the donation. Yeah, so Raudur, I'm, I'm, I will make mistakes here on these live streams. Uh, that's uh, I can't avoid that, you know. <clears throat> um, so <clears throat> let me just say a few words about also how what is wealth. Um, what is wealth? Uh, well, it's okay. Well, thanks a lot. Um, 
what is wealth? And I've given that quite a lot of thought because I've spent many years building up my own wealth, my family's wealth. And I've come to the conclusion that wealth is land. And land is not only a piece of land, but it is your property, right? Mm. It is the most, you know, m money, a, a, an amount of money. It can be taken away very easily. And yet now some people will say, well, they can take your land as well. But I just wanted to throw that in there because if you look at it that way, it changes things a little bit, right? So my, here's some input to you guys, you know, if you try to look at or translate wealth into land, like property, try to do that and look at what's going on. Start seeing some patterns, right? I'm not talking only about Billy Boy, talking about general patterns because land has been wealth since the dawn of civilization you know so um <clears throat> Ulir Vuldan, thanks for the donation uh i think all this came about largely because authoritarians excel at making weak stupid people feel safe Yes, absolutely. Uh, also, you should do a subscribe star so I can send you money without paying YouTube. Yeah, well, I am a subscribe star, and the link is in all my video descriptions. Um, okay. So, okay. Now, <clears throat> let me also say that if you're like me, you support freedom of speech. That does not mean that we should include all speech in our, we should listen to all speech we should not do that right and i there are also people who might consider themselves as on the same side as, as us that i do not want to be associated with because they are typically jumping to conclusions they are choosing they are cherry picking facts so that it will support their feelings or their emotions or their already established um, ideas and they will typically disregard everything that goes against that and and i have a problem with people like that because they will never get to a place where they are truth, truthful no they will never get there and that's a big problem the way i see it and i'm seeing sadly a lot of that <sighs> on our side well certainly on the other side of course that's that's obvious but on our side i'm seeing it as well and that's why i'm trying to kind of remind people that it is okay not to be certain. It's okay not to know when it comes to those topics we're not to get supposed to get into in detail here on social media. Um, but this is quite important actually, because if you manage to be okay with not knowing everything. And if you have that attitude where you will just try to gather facts for as long as you need, until you are ready to 
make up your mind about something. If you can do that, you will win this. You will also um, arrive at the right conclusion, probably, you know. Just wanted to add that. It's not very... Uh, some people don't like when I say that, but it's it's just how it is. Uh, Berserker Gang 2019. Good to see you. Good morning. Um, Olivia. Um, well, thanks a lot for the donation. Um, I think we will be okay. I think we will be okay. Um, but we will need to stand up, use our voice, and um, be ready for other eventualities as well. Um, we must, we should be prepared for this to become more martial, if that's the right word. <clears throat> and you, you 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 understand why I can't talk about that here, okay? So but it, it wouldn't be the first time, you know. Uh Strider, uh thanks for the donation. Uh, I think you missed my other message. Uh sorry about that. Let me see her. Did I? I'm I am really sorry about that. I can uh, scroll up. I can try to scroll up. There are lots of people there. Um, Budli Al, uh, thanks for the donation. Howdy from Nashville. That's wonderful. Um, let me uh, quickly scroll up here. I can't find it. I'm really sorry about that. Really sorry about that. Uh, if you just write it in the in the chat now, I will keep an eye on keep an eye on on, on the. Um, yeah, I'm doing my best here. <laughs> yeah, so. I am going to have to end this live stream soon now. Um, I will be back soon. Uh, Strider, there it is. Um, uh, just, I was just asking if you were going to publish your books in English. Well, good question. I cannot, well, I can, but I will not publish my books myself. Uh, I need a publisher to do that. And I'm one of those people who actually have lost a lot of money because of the lockdowns, because it kind of locked down the publishing business as well. And I'm sure that I'm not more more popular now because of what I'm talking about here. If I had been a good little boy, being silent, just doing as I'm as I was told, I guess maybe I would have been more palatable to publishers in uh, North America. I don't know. I don't know how that works. But um, I need my agent to secure a, uh, a publishing uh, book deal uh, in the English language. You will find uh, a link in the video description to my website. And on that website, there is a petition that someone started to have my books uh, to gather signatures to have my books published in uh, English. And you can sign that, you know. Uh, Blue Shining Diamond, uh, thanks for the donation. <clears throat> um, yeah, I, I hope I will find a publisher. I really hope so. Um, at some point, 
I will have to do it myself. But given the amount of time I spend on writing and making videos, um, already I would need to uh, hire someone full time to be my to run the publishing business. So I'm not there yet, but so hopefully I'll I will get the book deal. But um, if that doesn't happen, then I will have to do it myself, or rather hire someone and in my company to do that. So um, that's uh, that's it for now, and uh, thank you for joining. Thank you for being part of this community. A little bit of complaining from my my part. I am very tired. I am uh, getting tired from the chronic pain, and I'm uh, a little bit. It's a little bit uh, like that, you know. Lots of lots of work uh, with my writing and all that. So, but you're not interested in that. You're not here for that. So, I will. Um, as I said, I am very thankful that I'm. I've been given the opportunity to show that, to show what what I made of, um, and we should all be thankful for that. So, stay strong out there, and uh, we'll talk soon.